the only child of a literary agent and a casting director, Daniel Radcliffe has achieved international stardom for his work in the Harry Potter films, adaptations of the beloved bestsellers by J. K. Rowling. With the series and in 2011, the young actor now works to establish himself as more than just the bespectacled wizard in training. Radcliffe made his acting debut in the 1999 television movie David Copperfield, playing the young version of the title character. He soon landed a role on the big screen in 2001's spy thriller The Tailor of Panama with Pierce Brosnan and Jamie Lee Curtis. But even before this film's release, Radcliffe made headlines when he was cast as the lead in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The 11-year-old actor joined fellow unknown performers, Rupert Grint and Emma Watson as Harry's friends Ron and Hermione, on one of the most highly anticipated movies of 2001. In his work outside of the Harry Potter films, Radcliffe has strived to break away from his best-known role. He poked fun at himself and his image in Ricky Gervais' comedy series Extras in a 2006 special spot. The following year, Radcliffe showed his dramatic acting chops and more than just a bit of skin on the Broadway stage in Equus, playing a disturbed teenager. In 2011, he took on a very different part in Ambitious Young Man in the musical comedy How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Radcliffe, in his first mature film role after Harry Potter, starred in the 2012 gothic horror thriller The Woman in Black. He played a widowed lawyer and father who gets mixed up in some disturbing supernatural trouble. Venturing into lighter fare, Radcliffe also hosted the popular comedy show Saturday Night Live that same year. Radcliffe also began working an interesting project for British television in 2012. In The Young Doctor's Notebook, he plays the title character who is shadowed throughout each episode by an older version of himself portrayed by John Hamm. The series was such a success with audiences that it was renewed for a second season. Back on the big screen, Radcliffe continued to shed his wizard boy image. He portrayed famed bee poet Allen Ginsberg during his younger years in Kill Your Darlings, 2013. The film also features Elizabeth Olsen, Michael C. Hall and Ben Foster. In 2014, he took on the role of Ignatius Parrish, the prime suspect in the rape and murder of his girlfriend, in the supernatural thriller Horns. The same year, in a lighter rom-com, he starred as Wallace opposite Zoe Kazan in What If. In 2015, Radcliffe played Igor, assistant to Dr. Frankenstein, played by James McAvoy, in the sci-fi horror film Victor Frankenstein, an adaptation of Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein.